Hello and welcome to Architis. In this video, I am going to cover a very interesting topic. Actually, I am going to show you very useful tips and tricks of how to create these profile edges. I found that a lot of architects are struggling with this. It's quite simple, as I said. Therefore, I decided to make this one. So, I will be using Revit 2024. You can use any of the previous releases. And let's just move there and enjoy. I'm using new metric template. And the first thing I'm going to create will be floor. And we'll make some round edges here. Let's trim this. So this is fine. Let's go to 3D. And I will just turn off annotation categories. In Revit we have one very useful tool related to the slab and it's called Slab Edges. And you can find it if you go to the floor and then you go to the floor slab edge. And what you have to do is just to pick the edge where you would like to place your slab edge. You see this one goes inside, I will click OK and then on this arrow so it's going to flip it on the other hand. Uh, actually on the other side, sorry. Uh, but I mean if we compare this one and the one we have here on the picture, you see that they are completely different. So what we have to do is to create our profile and the way to do that is to go and create a new family. So for this one I will be using metric profile and then here I'm going to sketch our profile I will be using this positive quadrant and I will take line let's make the height of I don't know one meter the units are in millimeters I will make this to be 30 degrees angle and we'll just mirror this We'll make a tree and then I'm going to save as the family. Let's load it into the project. And then I'm going to duplicate this one. Now for the profile, I'm going to take the family I just made. We'll click apply. And you see how it looks like. Uh, why this stands here is because I picked this top line for the host so I can delete it So if I again go to the floor then slab edges and if I pick this one I just made Then I need to pick the lines and then I can continue picking And you see that this seems fine But if I go to this example you will see that we have a few more details And I'm going to show you how you can add them Actually, we have this detail at the bottom and then we have something in a, at the middle, like where they are joined. So let's just edit our family. And what I'm going to do will be to move this one, let's say for 50. I'm going to leave it like this. I would like you to see something. And we'll create something more here. So let's load it into the project. Overwrite existing version and its parameter values. But you see there is a mistake, so it's going to delete everything. And the mistake is, and it would happen to you, that this line goes down so it doesn't create a closed profile so let's be aware that you have a closed profile now if I go here and if I just make undo in our project file and if I again go to the family file and load it into the project and again override uh, values you see that it's created the family correctly and you see that our profile look way way better let me just make some ambient shadows so you see better how it looks like. And there is one more thing we need to do and it's to create railing. So let's go here and I will just take sketch path. We'll take, I don't know, let's take this railing one. I'm, I'm going to offset this for 50 for example. And 
can, I mean, we can anytime change this. If you don't like this one, we can take the other one or you can take any kind of the railing you want. The power of 2D profiles in Revit is huge and you know, you can take this way to create anything you want. For example, if you would like to create something like this, you can make it the same way as I did for this one. But let me show you that as well, so you don't need to test by yourself. You can watch this one and test it. And I really hope that after those two examples, everything is going to be clear about slab edges and 2D profiles to you. So I'm going to edit this family. And we'll just offset this for 200. and we'll make a save as. So this one is going to be O2. Let's load it. And I will duplicate everything. We'll duplicate this one as well. So here for the profile, I will place the second one. So you see, very easy to do. So I mean, you could really have a lot of flexibility with the using 2D profiles in your Revit projects. And you know, it could apply to really a lot of things in Revit. If you have any questions or any thoughts about this, feel free to write in the comments. I really would like to hear your opinion about this. And if you would like to support us, just like this video and subscribe to our channel.